Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Word is, they've been tracking the dragon for weeks. And they think they've finally tracked it down to this watchtower. So, hopefully they haven't missed me in the weeks I've been away. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're All right, Frost, you stay back. Actually, I should probably tell tell him to wait. Hmm. Okay. Well, wait then. Hmm. I haven't prayed in a while. Well, now it's probably a good time. Where's this dragon? Quickly now. I don't know. Mighty her scene. Give us strength and wisdom as we fight a dragon. to be working. Yes. The, the auto cannon took it down. <laughs> oh, let me dis let me disable it. Don't want anyone to get shot. Ah. Uh, so it did work after all. Dragonborn, what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Um, 
you could be right. There's only one way Felt to find like out. It. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That... Grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. Let me I've never check out this dragon. The Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Yes. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? All right, I'll try. What? What, what on earth? On the mount, what on earth? What? That was amazing. <laughs> all right. Let's see if Frost is all right. There he is. Well, Frost, I killed a dragon. And the auto cannon worked. Malakath was right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where am I headed now? I need to speak with the Jarl. some gold for killing the dragon. Still can't get over the auto cannon being able to take that dragon down. <laughs> I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, and hard work. I suppose these Daedric princes yes. do know what they're doing and what they're talking about. Mister, could you spare a coin? It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. You're finally here. Excuse me, coming through. Waiting for you. 
You heard Yo. the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. What? We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of Whiterun. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange happen when the dragon died? When the dragon died, I absorbed some of some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Really? The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. And what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Thank you, Jarl. Oh, and I thought I was gonna buy a house and just live here in Whiterun. I had no idea I would be made into a thane. And who was this? The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. And what does a house Carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Well, that sounds good. So now that I'm a thane, what does it mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. Hmm. The title of thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. All right, then. For now, follow me. Lead the way. What would you have me do, Your brother 
there's a Yarl. You know I can't question this. Hmm, the only problem with having a... a house, Carl, is my curse. Or my gift. I don't know how she'll react to it. What then? Do the elves you need something? Home? Got oh, something to say? Businesses? Your children? Your very What do you life? want? Need something? Need something? Actually, I think I'll take it from here, Lydia. I've got your back. It's time for us to part ways. I will be back at your house if you need me, Thane. Yes, make yourself at home. to High Rothgar. All right. According to the information that I've gathered, I need to head to Iverstead, and from there I can get to Hi, Rothgar. No. No, I can't believe this. I got to Iverstead only to turn into a werewolf. It's a good thing I didn't bring Lydia.
Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. at 5 a.m. already. Well, it's a good thing I lasted as a werewolf long enough to take out that troll. I've got no clothes. It's freezing up here. halfway. when I get there I won't be a werewolf. I read somewhere that reading all these little things can give you some sort of a boon or a gift. sure if I got all of them, though, as a werewolf. Hmm, I think I might have missed one. Side. Sorry to come up here. Sorry to come up here naked, but they're just gonna have to understand. <laughs> 